finally finished guys and this is how it looks so far. What's up guys, I am back with a new video but today I am in my garage because it's pouring outside. So here's the new project. I bought some studio foam. However, this is not for a music studio. This is for my Jeep, believe it or not. Do I sound crazy? Maybe. Is it unpractical? Probably. Is it overkill? Yes. And is it cool? It's totally cool. And the, the thing that's not cool is, so here's the carpet that I installed before. Um, the carpet is really heavy and it's kind of falling down right now. So it's kind of sinking as you can see. Um, from just the different weather changes and this foam itself the acoustic foam it's so light so I think I'm just going to replace this whole carpet with this studio foam I believe this foam will do much better at reducing the noise from the outside and insulating the heat or the AC in the car so I'm just gonna go ahead and start ripping this off I'm going to use carpet tape and put it back here. Let's just get started with it. So I'm in the driver's seat right now and the good news is everything's peeling off really easily. As you can see. Um, there's the, the carpet, it's kind of laying right there. Uh, let me just fully peel it down. There it is. That was easier than I thought. I might use this as a mat to just fix stuff under my car. Here is how my hardtop looks. And as you can see, I have previous carpet tape. And I'm not gonna go through the hassle of taking it off. I'm just gonna put the foam over it with new carpet tape. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay this time. So let me just get started. Cool, so here is the tape I'm going to be using. Just normal carpet tape. And I'm going to be putting it on the back side of this, just like one, two, three. And let's just see how that goes. So here's the foam. I just did the tape. All you want to do is make sure the tape is on here really securely. So push it in, push it in. And before you put it on, you're gonna want to peel this side out because this is like double-sided tape. Um, carpet tape is probably one of the stickiest tapes for this application. You don't want to use double-sided tape for this because I don't think it would stay. Plus carpet tape is a lot of tape for a cheaper price. Peel this off, there you go. So that's, peel that off, put that to the side. I'm just gonna do that for all of these. Cool, I just peeled everything off and this is how it looks. So I'm just gonna literally slap this on top of my hard top. Cool, so I just slapped it up there. Once it's up there, you want to push it in so it stays for a long time. And this is gonna look really cool, I can already tell. I'm gonna do a different pattern. This is going this way, the next one's gonna go horizontally, next one vertical, horizontal. I'm just gonna do that pattern throughout the hard top so it looks like a, a music studio. Finally finished guys, and this is how it looks so far. I only have six panels, so I do need to buy some more, and I guess eventually I'll do the back too. But yeah, this is how it looks. It looks pretty, pretty nice. Let me close the doors and show you how it sounds. I think I'm going to do one, two, and maybe cut half pieces for this and put it here but i need to buy some more but let me close the doors and crank up some music all right let's play some music it's loading again what's the move can I tell the truth if I was doing this for you then I have sound. nothing left to prove? Nah, this for me though. I'm just trying to stay alive and take care of my people. And they don't have no... So, it sounds awesome. Um, very quiet. I can imagine it's going to be way quieter once I buy some more of these foam panels. But, 
Yeah, already it's pretty quiet and it sounds great. Once again, ask your questions down below, comment anything you want down below, and thanks for watching, guys. Peace. They still like to get me, I don't get it. I cannot be gotten, that's a given. Yeah.